who did not enjoy the people's trust and confidence. They rejected decades-long era of deception and fraud. With the Velvet Revolution, Armenians put an end to the era of bad governance to ensure transparency. They put an end to the era of unrestricted power to make government accountable. The Armenian people put an end to the abuse of fundamental rights and freedoms to ensure better quality of life. Transparency, accountability, and better protection of human rights, just to name a few of positive transformations that digital and technological age promises. The Armenian people have successfully made the most of it and committed themselves to establish a true democracy. By holding snap parliamentary elections, this phase of the Velvet Revolution has been completed. Now we have a task not less important. We desperately need an economic revolution. To this end, we are going to widely utilize all the opportunities that digital age promises. Ladies and gentlemen, the promise of the digital and technological age is even bigger when it comes to relation between consumers and produ producers, users and suppliers. Consumers able to afford and access the digi digital world have gained a lot from ordering a taxi, booking, booking a flight, buying a product, making a payment to listening to music, watching a film, or playing a game. Any of this can, can already be done online. Technological innovation has also led to benefits for suppliers. Logistics and global supply chains have become more effective, and the cost of trade has decreased. All this have opened new markets for fostering economic growth. More importantly, IT and digital age enhance international competitiveness of individual countries. This is especially true for small countries like Armenia that due to geographical and geopolitical restrictions have limited impact on global processes. IT provides level playing field for all actors, regardless their might and scale. Also for this reason, the Armenian government has, pri uh, has prioritized the sector of high technologies as one of the major pillars of its economic development. Leaning on almost century long traditions, we are on the path to building a truly technological and industrial economy. We want to meet 21st century standards with ever wider opportunities and prospects to position Armenia as a country producing high value and knowledge in intensive goods and services with creative human capital at its core. Armenia was considered to be the former Soviet Union Silicon Valley where nearly to the Soviet era first semiconductor computer and one of the first in the world was manufacturing. The major part of computing systems and electronics for submarines and spacecraft of the USSR were both invented and manufactured in Armenia. Advanced antenna research, design and production was conducted in Armenia. The major semiconductor design, production test, and integration centers when in, were in Armenia. Today, the Armenian potential has wide, widened up. The IT sector in Armenia grew fivefold over the past seven years with an annual rate of about 25%. Multinational companies like Synopsys, National Instruments, Cisco, VMWR, TeamViewer, Mentor Graphics owned by Siemens and others have big research and development offices in Armenia with thousands of employees solving 
the most complex problems in 5G, advanced drive assistance system, machine-to-machine -machine communications, Internet of Things, artificial intelligence, robotics, and other applications. Armenia's current potential, uh, potential enable us to implement programs both with our compatriots from the diaspora and international organizations and why not with the IT giants. We are launching an exciting startup project to create ecosystem incubators including sustainable development laboratories, artificial intelligence, cyber security, blockchain and semiconductor technologies are among our priorities. The, the education is also very much focused on technologies. In Armenia, we established the TUMO Center for Creative Technologies. Its educational program is acknowledged worldwide as an Armenian brand. It has already been introduced in a num number of developed countries, such as France, Germany, and Russia. At the same time, we give school, school children the opportunity to study ro robotics in armored laboratories. Armenia has a National Academy of Science, Sciences with many research institutions in physics, math, astronomy, biology, chemistry, and other subjects. And of course, I cannot but mention the National Polytechnic University of Armenia. Your, uni univer your uni university just, just signed a memorandum on academic cooperation with. With the potential that these two universities have, I, I have no doubt that in the near future we will hear about their joint successful initiatives. I attach high importance to the collaboration of Armenian universities and their faculty with their international counterparts. The network created by international co collaboration in science and technology open up new horizons. And last but not least, Armenia's main asset is its bright-minded and talented people with cutting-edge education. Due to this, Armenian startups are involving speedily some of them coming in leading place on the world map of technology. It is a proven fact that Armenians are provided with opportunities, they are always successful. This is why more Armenians stand out in diaspora as compared to the homeland. This is why our government is doing its best to ensure compatible environment in Armenia to make it a home for intellectual potential of its people. In acknowledgement of this potential, for the first time in the 40-year history of the World Congress on International Technologies, a small developing country as Armenia will be hosting the very Congress. The mere fact that the largest and the most reputable international event in the industry will be held in Armenia speaks for itself. More than 2,000 delegates are ex expected to attend from about 60 countries. I am extending an invitation to, to you all to come and participate in the Congress. It will also be, uh, be an opportunity to get first hand information about Armenia and the level of development of information and communication technologies there, and last but not least, enjoy our ancient culture, hospitality, art, and food. Ladies and gentlemen, the promise of digital and technological age is limitless. The mere possibility of billions of people to connect to each other with un unlimited storage capacity and unrestricted access to knowledge paves the way to do the impossible. Technology breakthrough in such field as artificial intelligence, robotics, nanotechnology, biotechnology, and others 
create opportunity for this. Armenia seizes these opportunities to reface its economy in a try to translate in its political revolution into an economic one. Thank you very much.